Good morning, I'm Sean Peters, and I'm a cinematographer and a storyteller. Next slide, please, and play the video. I've always tried to be uh, at the delivery of all of my children. And uh, Italo, who of course didn't have a name then, was supposed to, uh, you know, hit planet Earth sometime around the end of July or the beginning of August. I had to go to Asia. I had to go to Japan and China and spent uh, a considerable amount of time in China. So one of the things that I did is I went to his mother's stomach, Osei M. Chow, and I bent down and I talked and I said, listen, I don't want you coming out here until I get back from this trip. And I got back and it was probably like the next day or so that Italo was actually born. So to me that was significant because it showed something in regards to that he was listening even in regards to him being in his mother's stomach and in the womb. Italo probably was the, um, the poster child for greatness or the expectance of greatness from out of all of our siblings I think he was probably the one that was expected to go the farthest as far as um, education as far as his ability to be able to reach people he was a real people person and people gravitated towards him because of that I think he had the potential to really be and do whatever it is that he wanted to do with his life so that his life was cut short early was unfortunate because you couldn't really his potential was limitless and so what he could have been is anything he could have been whatever it is that he wanted to be next slide my project is called the art of dying young and it's a film installation augmented reality tour an exhibit that examines the lives local histories, and placemaking initiatives of the Brooklyn neighborhoods of Bed-Stuy, Williamsburg, and Bushwick. And they're told through the lives of four young men who have been memorialized through murals. Next. This project is not about death. Next. It's about life and humanity. Next. It's about these cool kids right here. Next. We pass these memorial murals every day on the way to the L train in Brooklyn, the J train, the A train, next. But meet Richard Duran. Richard Duran, AKA Little Rich. In Williamsburg, there are 20 people with tattoos of Little Rich on their arm, right here, next. Akeem Saluki, did you know Akeem Saluki's mother, Khadija, worked at a charter school two blocks down the road from your new bed apartment, next. Most of our neighborhoods have been insulated, urban neighbors have been insulated for 70 years before recent gentrification. Next. Creating a local history of culture and ritual. Next. Where families were raised and institutions were built. Next. With urban development, local cultural footprints, including memorial murals, are being erased, especially memorial murals, are being erased at an alarming rate. And guess what? Next. They're not happy about it. <laughs> next. So I decided to have, to start with an exhibition, and I'd love to share some things about what I've learned about these four young men. So in the gallery, next, there'll be installations and projected video, some documentary footage, some audio installations about the circumstances of their death and anecdotes from their loved ones and about the way they live, next. I'll also have objects from the seas. I found that they have clothing left of their children. I'll have sneakers. I'll have photographs of family. Next. And at the exhibit, you'll be able to down the Art of Di uh, download the Art of Dying Young app from, to your phone. And what that app will do is it'll have a mapping tour guide capability. It'll also have augmented reality image recognition technology. So then I'm going to take you on a bike tour of the hood. So grab a local kid and jump on your bike. <laughs> and take a tour with your neighbors. 
and you'll stop at digital landmarks, local landmarks that I'll have that will detail the lives of these kids in their own neighborhoods. Trust me, next. These landmarks are legendary in the hood, like the Soul in the Hole basketball court and the East Community Center, both so vital and important to the life of Ichao, Italo Michawi and his neighbors. The mural and the film. So at the, at the end of each micro tour, you'll come to the mural. And with your phone and your image recognition technology, you'll point at the mural and you'll call up the film that I'm about to make. Play the video. The film will look something like this. Stop the video now. So the films will be memory films. I'm really researching these kids' hopes and their dreams. I'm not just researching the details of their death. I'm talking to their parents about what they feared, what they hoped for, what they loved. And I'm creating these emotive, emotional memory dreams, hopefully correctly, um, that you'll see at the mural once you get to the, once you get to those kids' murals. Next. So what do I need? I need a whole lot. I need funding to bring a researcher and producer who has an extensive experience in finding and liaising with maintaining relationships and document, documentary subjects. I need corporate sponsors for my bike tour. I need cast support in exchange for present, uh, presentational credit, in-kind support in the form of production tools, um, foundation money or individual donors to fund both the film content and the overlay content for the tour, um, ties into sponsorship for the bike tour, like I said, and uh, a development producer to help me handle a lot of things I need. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.